Hey y'all, I wanted y'all to see my mess today and how my mess came out to be something delicious. I was gonna make some celery top pesto from these celery tops right here. And so I, um, my food processor is broken, it's no good, it's gone, it's thrown in the trash. So I figured I'd put them in the, um, in the Vitamix and blend them up with some um, olive oil and some garlic and some Parmesan cheese and put them on a piece of sourdough bread. But the Vitamix wasn't breaking it up enough, so then I started doing it with the uh, mortal and pestle. And that got it okay. And you just, one of the things you have to remember about celery is that it's very, very watery. Celery has a lot of water in it. So I put a couple of pieces of celery and celery tops in the blender with garlic, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, and blended that up as best I could. And then I threw some walnuts in there. And once I threw some walnuts in there, I decided to put it on a piece of sourdough because a piece of sourdough is a sturdy piece of bread. And I am telling y'all, this is so delicious. So uh, if you've got a, a food processor, make you some um, pesto is what I was initially trying to make. Make you some pesto out of these celery leaves with some olive oil. And you can mix it with basil or parsley if you want to. Make you some pesto and put it on some toast or put it on some pasta. But I decided to kind of make like a fake ward off salad with celery and uh, garlic and Parmesan cheese and walnuts without the apples and just put it on a piece of sourdough bread. And man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is a delicious snack. And it's a way to get mm, that's good celery into your kids. They won't even know they're eating celery. So keep that in mind. You could also add the apple to it. Celery tops is something that you should make sure when you buy your celery from the grocer, you get them with the tops on because the tops have so much flavor and they're so delicious. Of course, you can put them into soups. Of course, you can put them into all kinds of salads. When you're making your salads, just treat them like they're parsley. It's treated the same way you treat a parsley. The only deal is you just cut them up real thin. And I'm telling you, your people, your kids, they'll eat them. This is this is really, really delicious, y'all. So that's what I wanted to share with y'all today. Man, this is good. I may make me a small ward off salad for one and show y'all that. Okay? Okay. Another thing you can do with it is cut open your avocado and put this little celery mixture inside the avocado. Man, it's so good. It's so good on this bread, though. I really, really like this, y'all. So I am going to make me a, 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 a pseudo ward off salad for one. I've got me little apples. I got me some celery tops, a little pieces of celery, some Parmesan cheese. I got some walnuts over there. I'm going to mix all of that up and uh, we're going to see how it turns out. Okay? Okay. Okay, so here's my salad for one with the apples, the Parmesan cheese, the celery, plus the celery tops. And instead of mixing mine in may mayonnaise, I mix mine with Bulgarian yogurt. And you have to be careful when you're doing something like that because, you know, yogurt is kind of watery. So I only got a little bit in there. But basically, this is the same thing that I just put on the sourdough bread with the exception I got apples in there. And so that's the way you can make a salad. If you want to use mayonnaise, use mayonnaise. You can make a salad and give it to your kids. And you can give them this little treat that I made on the sourdough bread and give it to them. And they'll think they're eating something totally different. And you're getting some good celery in them baby because celery is very very good for you okay keep that in mind and here's my meal for today y'all and they're basically the same thing i've got celery tops plus celery plus garlic plus walnuts no apple salt and pepper olive oil i've got apple walnuts celery no garlic a little parmesan cheese and the celery tops in here two different dishes that i've made that you can serve to your children, you can serve to your family that are delicious 
that they will eat y'all. They will eat this if you present it to them in the right way. This is so good and this is good. Now you might be looking at this and saying, well, where's your protein for the day? You said you were going to try to get more protein and fiber in you because I truly believe that we don't eat enough fruits and vegetables every day. And I'm guilty of it myself. So I'm not throwing shade at anybody. I'm guilty of it myself. And that's why I wanted to come on here and make these videos to just kind of take you on this journey with me and hopefully trigger some ideas in you that you can use for you and your family. So what I'm going to do after this video turns off, I'm probably going to top this with some sardines, but you see me eating sardines all the time. So I don't want, I didn't want to make this video about the sardines because I love sardines. I eat sardines all the time, or I could put some anchovies on there, but sardines for, for right now is what I think I'm going to do. Put a couple of sardines on here and eat that. And this is how I'm going to roll, y'all. This is this is my meal for the day. It's been raining all day here, so they say it's supposed to be sunny this afternoon, and if it dries up some after I eat this, I'm going to go for a nice little walk, and I'm going to feel like I've done the right thing for my body. But the point of the video is that don't throw those celery tops away. Figure out a way to use them. Use them as parsley. Use them in soups. Use them in salads or use them in a pesto or something like this. And you'll have you some delicious food and delicious nutrition for you and your family. So y'all, I got it in. Got to walk in. Got my hair washed in. Made me a quick little celery salad, a fake Wardorf salad. And I just want to encourage you to like use your celery, man. Use your celery tops. I'm not a big fan of the celery juice because I think that most people don't realize the amount of celery juice you have to use in the course of a day. You're going to be spending a ton of money on celery juice. And I just think that if you eat celery along with other dark leafy green vegetables and fruit, you will have what you need for your diet. So that's kind of where I am. I'm on this journey right now trying to lose some of these pounds I picked up over the holidays. I'm trying to get fit. I'm trying to get stronger. I'm trying to live. I'm in my late 60s now. I'm moving on up to <laughs> my late 60s now. And I think I said this before on one of my videos. I don't move as fast as I used to and I want to be able to move and maneuver and have a decently healthy body. I'm not trying to be a health freak or anything like that because I'm still going to eat fried food occasionally. I'm still going to eat meat because I'm never going to be a vegan because I believe, I honestly do believe that uh, meat has its value, has nutrients in it. And I can, I can tell you for sure, the one meat that, I think I did a video about decluttering my refrigerator and the one thing that was missing out of my refrigerator was beef liver, which is something I try to have in my refrigerator every week. And sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. But I am never going to stop eating beef liver because beef liver has proven to me, proven to me that it boosts my energy instantly, y'all. I mean, the minute I take a bite of it, and I don't know if it's the, the B vitamins in it, I don't know if it's the copper. My guess is it's the copper is what I'm lacking. But my body loves beef liver. And so I'm going to try to get beef liver into me once a week, once every other week, something like that. So I'm never going to be a vegan. But I do want to be health conscious because I think as we get older, if we're not, we become a burden to our children because our children have to figure out, well, what are we going to do? You know, mama this, mama that, mama this, mama that. And I ain't trying to go into no home, baby. No, 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 no. I'm trying to keep moving. I got grandbabies. I got to chase around in the future. So I want to be up and positive for them. But I just want to let y'all know, <clears throat> excuse me. I just want to let y'all know that I am, um, I enjoyed the salad. I enjoyed the, the uh, celery quasi or pseudo pesto that I made. It really wasn't pesto. It was just celery and uh, Parmesan cheese and uh, olive oil and walnuts and celery tops. And it tasted really good on sourdough bread. Now, sourdough bread can take that because sourdough bread is kind of thick. You just have to remember when you're dealing with celery, celery is has a lot of water in it. So, uh, sourdough bread could handle that. A cracker could probably handle that. But I wouldn't put it on regular, you know, regular wheat bread, reg regular white bread. I don't think they could handle that from the celery because the celery is so wet, wet, wet and watery. 
Anyway, I just wanted to get on here and make sure that uh, I never ask anybody to subscribe, but I do want to encourage you to at least watch the next video and stay connected with me on my page. And I guess I'm going to ask you to subscribe. Everybody tells me I always forget to say that I put up over 500 videos and I don't think it may be one or two videos where I've said subscribe. I, I'm just, that's just the truth. And so people keep telling me, Valerie, you have to tell people that because they won't subscribe. So subscribe. All right. All right. I'm Val Taylor. I'll see y'all on the next video. Y'all go out and make a great day. I'm going to enjoy me a cup of tea and I'll see y'all then. Bye now.